What is Ripple? I am Zach from KK Technologies. Today we investigate all details about digital asset which built for payments. XRP. The main aim of XRP was to form the basis of a system of direct asset transfers in real time, which would offer a cheaper, more transparent, and secure alternative to current transfer payment methods, such as SWIFT. It is best known for doing so in the Ripple network, which is why it is sometimes called Ripple. It is the native digital asset on the XRP ledger and open source blockchain technology that can settle transactions in 3 to 5 seconds. XRP can be sent directly without needing a central intermediary, making it a convenient instrument in bridging two different currencies quickly and efficiently. Okay, but what is the advantage of it? For instance, Bitcoin transaction confirmations may take many minutes while XRP transactions are confirmed in seconds with little cost. Banks are outdated and too slow for modern day. Have you ever had experience where you needed to send money to someone only to be told it might take several days for that money to appear in their account? The reason is most famous banks are still using systems that were built 30 years ago for this task. SWIFT, MoneyGram and Western Union are just some examples of slow, expensive and relatively limited systems that financial services use to transfer money. With AL, not all of the banks are connected via the same network. So, in money transfer, you don't even have a direct line between two banks when they need to transfer money from one account to the other. In order for Bank X to send money to Bank Y that it doesn't have any direct connection with, more often than not, it will have to go through several intermediary banks, searching for common network connections between each other, in order to clear a path for the money. That's why international wire transfers are so slow and costly. In modern world, international commercial activities could be done by homes. So, bank transfers must involve currency conversions sometime. Which make things even more problematic and expensive. For example, directly transferring currency from Japan to Russia means turning yens into rubles, which is generally not feasible. The reason is that Japanese banks don't usually hold accounts denominated in rubles. However, both Japanese and Russian banks hold accounts in dollars. So instead, an individual or bank will usually trade yens to dollars and then dollars to ruble. Dot as you can imagine, this process can be costly. Ripple provides solution for easy money transfer Ripple just like the internet has its own rules or protocol to transfer information known as HTTP. The Ripple network, RippleNet, uses a protocol known as RTXP for moving value around the world. XRP is a technology that is mainly known for its digital payment network and protocol. Many major banks use the XRP payment system. What is the difference between Bitcoin and XRP? The Bitcoin network is decentralized. This means that it is not controlled and governed by any bank, government or entity. It was created by an unknown person or group of people known as Satoshi Nakamoto. The XRP ledger works through a unique consensus algorithm which uses a network of validating servers, rather than proof of work or proof of stake. The transaction speeds are faster. An XRP transaction confirmation takes an average of 3-5 seconds to complete significantly faster than other cryptocurrencies or today's traditional financial networks, which can take days. Another major difference is that, unlike Bitcoin, XRP is not designed to be mined at all. With Bitcoin, miners get rewarded in the form of newly created Bitcoin. With XRP, a total of 100 billion XRP tokens were pre-mined, of which approximately 40 billion were made available to the public market. The remaining amount of XRP tokens are held by Ripple Labs and are periodically released. Mining and Circulation Bitcoin uses a proof-of-work system and mining for releasing new tokens, while all of the XRP tokens are pre-mined for this reason, Ripple mining does not exist in the same way that Bitcoin mining does. The CryptoCoin release mechanism is also different for both BTC and XRP. While Bitcoins are released and added to the network when the miners find them, while a smart contract controls the release of XRP. Similar to the Bitcoin transaction processing fee, XRP transactions are charged. Each time a transaction is performed on the Ripple network, a small amount of XRP is charged to the user, individual or organization. The primary use for Ripple is to facilitate the transfer of other assets, though a growing number of merchants also accept it for payments in a way similar to accepting Bitcoins. Let's look real-world applications. While Bitcoin is seeing increasing use by individuals and organizations as a virtual currency, the Ripple payment system is more popular among banks. Most unknown banks already made agreements with Ripple. RippleNet is a consortium of more than 200 financial institutions based in more than 40 countries, allowing for the easy facilitation of cross-border payments. 
The Ripple network continues to see growth among financial institutions. Ripple Labs, the creators of RippleNet, aim to create the internet of value a way for money to move as quickly as information does. Through the use of RippleNet, there is no reason to pay a fortune and wait days when transferring money globally. Unlike most cryptocurrencies who focus on the individual, Ripple Labs aims to serve banks and payment providers, allowing them to lower transaction costs and expedite settlements. How does Ripple work? Ripple basically is a network based on a set of rules known as the Ripple Transaction Protocol or RTXP for short, and offers businesses an alternative to the banking system in the form of an internet of value called RippleNet. The network consists of computers, known as validators, that are spread around the world and maintain a blockchain a shared ledger of who owns what. Validators make sure every transaction sent through the network follows the RTXP rules. Anyone can run a validator and help maintain the Ripple network, just like anyone can run a Bitcoin node to maintain the Bitcoin network. Companies who want access to the Ripple network can use gateways. Gateways, which are usually proceed by banks, act as entry points to Ripple for users outside the network. It's the same idea as going to a bank or a credit company to gain access to the banking system. Ripple products like Zrapid, Zvia and Zcurrent are offered to companies in order to optimize their current solutions for transferring money around the world. Conclusion Hopefully by now you're familiar with what Ripple is and how it works a network designed to move value around the world, mainly aimed at banks and payment providers. Consistently keeping a place at the top 5 cryptocurrencies is not an easy goal, and Ripple has been doing this smartly. For now, it seems that Ripple Labs are slowly advancing towards their goal to add more and more banks to their system, however centralized coins against nature of cryptocurrencies. What are your thoughts about Ripple would you invest in it? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.